Have you recently taken the MBTI test and you are stuck between INTP and INFJ and you don't know which one you are, you are wondering because the two personality types are similar, but then they also do have their differences. So in this video, INFJ versus INTP, I'm gonna help you to tell which of the two personality types you are for the first time. If that sounds good to you, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Let's dive in. ladies welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Shamiso Miranda and this channel is all things INFJ careers and INFJ entrepreneurship so if you'd like to find a career that is best suited to your personality type do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it for more videos like this so the first main difference between INTP and INFJ is that INTPs, they generally don't care what society says. They do not care if their logic is going to hurt the INFJ's feelings. They believe that truth is best. It's always best to speak your mind, to speak your truth, regardless of how that truth is going to be received by the INFJ and those around them. INTPs generally, they have an issue with emotional intelligence. It's not one of their strongest points. So because of this, this is a clear difference between the INFJ and INFTP because the INFJ is very sensitive and they are emotionally aware, they are emotionally triggered. And the INFJ puts in so much conscious effort to ensure that they do not hurt the feelings of those around them. And as a result, the INFJ finds the INFTP's actions to be very hurtful. So if you are someone that likes to speak your mind and you pay no thought to how it's going to be received and whether or not you're going to hurt somebody's feelings, then you could be leaning more on the INTP side because the INFJ is very sensitive and they are very much aware of other people's feelings and those around them and they try their best to not cause any upset to anyone. And going on from that, INFJs are very aware. They are aware of what is going on around them. They are aware of the people that are in their space and in spite of being very introverted they are very aware of their the people around them and the people in their space and they try their best to ensure that everybody is comfortable and if they start to notice any tensions forming between people I and INFJ would quickly try to do something to dissolve the situation before it starts to even escalate um, INFJs are very sensitive to the needs of those around them, even in social settings. And because of that, INF INFJs will come back from an event and they will be exhausted and they would have taken notice of so much that is happening and how the people were relating with each other. Whereas the INTP would not have noticed half of the things that the INFJ has noticed because the INTP only notices certain things when they are interacting with someone and usually that is just like an intellectual interaction whereas the INFJ is more emotionally aware and they are they are emotionally connected. So the third biggest difference between INFJ and INTP is intuition. So the INTP's intuition is exhibited by trying stuff out. INTPs can try, like for example, let's say the INTP is trying to fix a puzzle and they will try and try and try even 10 times if necessary until they get it. Whilst an INFJ on the other hand, they will take a look at it and they will try to identify the trends, the differences, the similarities and the sequences to really figure out why it's working. So maybe if they tried it twice, um, an INFJ might take a break, go have drink some water, have a cup of coffee or something. And by the time they come back to it, they would have figured out what the sequence is, what the logic is, and they tend to get things done quicker than an INTP. So 
if you are someone that when you're trying to do something new, you try and 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 fail and fail and fail without necessarily looking, actively looking for the sequences, for the similarities, the differences to understand why is it working the way that it's working, then you may be an INTP. So the INFJ, basically, they visualize the the pattern in their head and from there they can work out how to fix and solve the issue or the puzzle or whatever the case may be so on literally on the flip side of that the intp they are ready to to literally try every single combination until they get to their desired result so an example would be if you're trying to find a combination for a lock the INTP will try all the possible combinations until they get to the correct one, whilst the INFJ is just looking for patterns and the rule to figure it out and to visualize like, okay, why is this thing working like this? What are the coordinates? Why is it coordinating in this manner? Another thing that some people don't actually consider when they're trying to tell the difference between INFJ and INTP is that the INFJ's last function is SE. So which in comparison to INTP, you could say that, so the INFJ is literally out of touch with their body in the same way that the INTP is out of touch with their emotions. So this means that maybe an INFJ could be cold to the touch before they notice that they need to warm up. And INFJ, as an INFJ myself, I'm very guilty of this. I oftentimes forget to eat. And I know that INTPs do that as well, but only when they are engaged in a project or something that they are deeply connected with. And in my opinion, that is really a big problem because INFJs tend to forget their bodies and forget their self in pursuit of making sure those around them, they get what they need and all their needs are met. So. I would totally be remiss if I didn't touch on the issue of P versus J. INTP is often called the absent-minded professor and a lot of the INTPs I know actually fit this. Whilst on the other hand, INFJs, we are very well organized and we generally don't forget stuff and we always, we always know where things are at all times. So I hope this video helped you to be able to tell the difference INTP versus INFJ and you now know which you are for the first time. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you found this video useful and I will see you in my next one as we continue our journey towards a more wholesome, healthier and more meaningful lifestyle.